Okay, so let's take a look at uh, the classic problem of the block sliding down an inclined plane. So we have an inclined plane, and there's a block, and when it is released, it's going to slide down the inclined plane. Uh, in most of these cases, there will be some friction that will slow us slow it down. So if there were lots of friction, this block would not slide. If there were not lots of friction, then it will slide. And our task is to find its acceleration as it slides down the inclined plane, given the angle and given the coefficient of friction between the block and the inclined plane. So, in most of the situations in a regular physics class, the normal force ended up being the weight of the object because the surface on which the object was sliding was flat. Okay, this is not that situation. So we're going to have to use a triangle to break the weight into components perpendicular and parallel to the plane. I'll show you that. The component perpendicular is the normal force. So I'm going to draw that in. That would look like this. And the... Oops, that's not erasing. Ah... Hmm. Uh, and the uh, component parallel will be the force that slides the block down the inclined plane. And then lastly, the force of friction takes away from this force. So that's pulling it down the plane, whereas friction would be pulling it back up. Friction obviously wouldn't slide the block up the plane, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's an example. 10 kilogram block, coefficient of friction, and an angle of 30 degrees. So gravity pulls straight down. Okay, we are going to break that into components that are perpendicular to the plane and parallel to the plane. So given this triangle, this is a right angle, and our angle here, 30 degrees, or whatever it is, will always be the angle here. If that's a little confusing, draw some different diagrams, look at it uh, towards the side and think about it. But that's true. Um, let's move on to the next slide, I think. Ah, yes. So, a free body diagram. Technically, I should not have the plane drawn if it were a free body diagram, but I put it there just so you don't get confused. So here's the weight of the block. W equals mg would yield 98 newtons straight down, 30 degree angle, so on and so forth. So after using our Silk Toa skills, we would find that the component parallel is 49 newtons and the component of weight perpendicular would end up being 84.87 newtons. So again, this up here is a 30 degree angle. If you're confused about that, find the video lesson related to Sokotoa right triangle trig and look it over. So, what that means is that this block has a... Let me just take a recording. So, this plane, uh, I'm sorry, this block has a force pulling it down the plane. I need a different color. Pink. Sharon would be so happy. Alright. So, this block has a force pulling it down the plane of 49 newtons. And that is the perpendicular component of its weight, meaning the force due to gravity. It has a force upward due to friction. That's an F sub F. How do we find F sub F? Force of friction. Well, it is the coefficient of friction times the normal force, which in this case 
is our perpendicular component of weight. So our force of friction will be 0.2 times 84.87 And I think I did this correctly. That would give us 16.98 newtons. So we can say that this force retards the motion or slows it down. And our our normal uh, excuse me our normal force is like this. And, uh, nope, that is not our normal force. That is the perpendicular component of weight, and our normal force would be in the opposite direction. So, when we actually look at, what I need, when we actually look at a free body diagram of our block, it would look like this. We have opposing forces, and this would be the normal force. This would be the perpendicular component of weight. Those exactly cancel out. We have this force down the plane of 49 newtons, the parallel component of its weight. And we have the force of friction. I'm going to draw that as a shorter arrow because it is a smaller force of 16.97 Newtons. So the net force actually acting on the block would be the 49 minus this, and its direction would be down the inclined plane, and that ends up being 32 point, what's this, oh, 03 Newtons. Okay, and that would be down the plane. So when we go to find the acceleration of the block down the plane using Newton's second law, F equals MA, we substitute in. Now, this in Newton's second law and F equals MA, that force is the net force acting on the object, whatever it is. So in this case, it's 32.03 newtons. Sorry for not writing the units in here. And mass was 10 kilograms times acceleration. That is a times yielding an acceleration of 3.2 meters per second squared. Cool. Our next page here. Nope.